All right, welcome aboard. We get ready to park Greensboro, headed to Wilmington. Greensboro Tower, bearing 515 Bravo Echo is ready to go, 23 left. Get back over here in the middle. Baron one five one five Bravo Echo Greensboro Tower runway two three left shortened clear for takeoff turn left heading one seven zero one seven zero clear for takeoff two three left five one five Bravo Echo all right so we'll get our lights on mixture's rich air condition can stay on on this one which is nice nobody's coming finals clear. Power's coming up. And once we're up against the governor, we can go fast with the throttles. All right, everything's looking good. Everything's in the green. Airspeed's alive. Nice. A little bit cooler day right there through 85 already. Whoop. Boy, this one jumps off the ground. Echo, contact departure. Cover the departure, five Bravo Echo, good day. Greensboro departure, bearing 515 Bravo Echoes, 1800, climbing 3000, 170 on the heading. Number 515 Bravo Echo, Greensboro departure, radar contact, climbing team 5000. 5000, five Bravo Echo. Number zero, Papa Bravo, you copy the, are you ready to copy that full reclaim? Number zero, Papa Bravo. Right, we got it all, Jim. I'm going to have to autopilot on. Number zero, Papa Bravo. That gives me a chance uh, just to focus on my uh, airport via props and try to get second. them really close, a little Papa closer. Echo, Kilo, November, November. Then Lills, Lima, India, Lima, Lima, Sierra. And then your destination, maintain right. 8,000. Very good. Look at all that low fog all right, out got, there. Uh, clear to Alpha Yankee Sierra. Anyways, all right. Alpha Yankee. Stand by. Sierra I'm gonna get us to cruise, and then we're gonna go over some of the pages here in a little bit. I'll show you all my all the bells and whistles. We're leveling at five right now, but I was gonna show you guys as I lean to those little blue markers in the climb. We could use the lean assist by hitting engine lean, and then lean assist to peek it out and all that. But I never trust my probes exactly. You know, they all have to be really accurate to be to work well. You know, so I don't know. So I use right out of the POH in the performance section. This is the chart, and basically, looking at or ISA or ISA plus twelve today. So zero, Papa Bravo, you here's do. standard. Here's plus ten down at the bottom. And basically, since I'm at five thousand, I just interpolate. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm going to try to show it. We're between 17 and 17 and a half. Right, so that'd be about, oh, 17, 2, 17, 3. And then between these two, uh, da, 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 let's see, hard to do it while holding the camera. 15, 3 and 16, 3, so that'd be about 15, 8. 15, 8. Or no, I'm looking at the wrong line, sorry. But I, w I originally filed seven. They got me at five. So yes, yeah, so about sixteen five, and in between these two is seventeen three, about sixteen eight or so. So I'm going to pull it to sixteen eight. We'll see see where it winds up using the the lean assist. But sixteen eight. The little blue lines will go away here in a second when you get close, because it knows you're leaning it. See, there's the the. Right side, right side, ridge side of peak. And then we would go back up to 16.8. See, so 
So this thing didn't really quite grab it right. I'd have to go beyond it for it to know. And maybe do it a little slower. But there's 16.8. All right, and we're running nice and cool. Something else I was going to show you. I was going to go through all my pages real quick. Hopefully before he hands me off to the next sector. But basically in the old one, you'd have the little nav pages, aux pages, waypoint pages, all that stuff down at the bottom. But you got to turn the knob first. So our navigation pages, we basically have... i got to turn it once so it'll pop up. Navigation pages, we got the map, we got waypoint, aux, flight plan, and under the nav... November, contact Atlanta Center, 125.15 right, nice. today. All right. So under the navigation pages, we got all these pages, IFR charts, so I'm going to go one click. That's our IFR VFR chart, so we got VFR charts. The next page is traffic. The third page is our actual radar. This is our data link from XM, so we can display all kinds of different... Number zero, Papa Bravo, contact... And that's our terrain. Sorry, I sound like I'm not focusing because I'm kind of listening for my calls on, too. Also, when you, if you get lost on a page and you don't know where you're at, the title of the page is on the top, so that kind of helps you out. And then I'm going to go to the radar just to show you guys all the features of the radar real quick. I'm in standby. I hit mode, and then I just hit weather to turn it on. And this one really doesn't have a warm-up, right? It's, bam, it's running. Unlike my other ones, which usually have that 30-second warm-up. And then I can go into back. I've got all kinds of features. I can hit this GCS, which is ground clutter suppression. And then on features, I've got turbulence turned on. I can hit ACT which is altitude compensation tilt. So as we go up, it would tilt it down, or as we went down, it would start tilting it up, which is kind of cool. So it's kind of automatic. And it does work, because I've, I've turned it on and tried it. Obviously, there's nothing on radar right now, so I'm going to... Uh, November 5, Bravo Echo, contact Raleigh, approach 125.3. Good day. Okay, 25.3, 5 Bravo Echo. All right, so we're going to go 25.3. If I can do this one handed. So I'm going to tune in 25 3. We'll flip flop it. Boop. And I'm going to call Raleigh. Raleigh approach, Baron 515 Bravo Echoes, 5000. 515 Bravo Echo approach, altimeters 3026. 3026, 5 Bravo Echo. So we'll, we'll set our, on our barrow, which is the outer knob, 3026. Boom. So that's all my radar features. It's kind of cool. It has a you know a lot of nice stuff here. So that's all our our uh, map under the map tab. You got all these little features right here. Then if I scroll over to waypoint, I've got all these waypoint different sub sub menus basically. So that would be my airport tab. It defaults to the first one. It defaults to where we're going to actually too. I could highlight one of these frequencies and put it up here if I wanted to. It's already up there yeah, from our last flight, right? Or no, actually, it's not. So I'll do that, right? So I got the little box right here. So that's where it's going to go when I, when I cursor it. We're going to scroll down to the ATIS. I'm going to hit Enter. And then it's going to ask me where I want to put that frequency. I'm actually going to put it in COM2 active, right? I'll put it up there. How about that? So there you go. So now it's tuned. I can't do that in the old G1000. I can only put it in the standby. So that's kind of a new feature of the NXI. Then I'm going to uncursor it, and then I'm going to hit the weather tab down here. And then we get the METAR for Wilmington, where we're going. So the winds are 030 at 6, 10 miles. Sky's clear, 2523. Uh, 3023 on the altimeter. So looking good. They're probably landing 6, I would guess. Who knows? You know, runway 6. And then all these little soft keys down here, you can do all kinds. You can look at the approaches. I could change the approach. It's got six in there just as defaulted. If I'd loaded an approach, it would automatically pull that up too. Stars, if there are any, they don't have any stars or departure procedures out of Wilmington. This is back to that main info page. I could pull up different charts. Here's the airport diagram. And then show chart options. You can... Uh, Rotate it clockwise, counterclockwise, full screen, all kinds of different tabs. So that's airports, and then you got intersections, NDBs, VORs, 
uh, I'm not sure what VRP information is. I guess that's something about routes. Oh. I'd have to look up that. User information. So this is user waypoints. If you had user waypoints typed in there. Somebody's got a MLU in there. I don't know what that is. And then the AUX pages. You've got all these different AUX pages. Trip planning. Utility page to change different alarms and timers. GPS status to see your satellite status. System setup. This is where you could change different uh, settings if you want it in UTC time or local or whatever. Uh, XM radio. Jazz. Alright. I'm looking at this for... Hi, Bob Echo, contact Fayetteville, 125.17. Okay, 2517, Bob Bravo Echo. So we're going to do that real quick, 2517. Flip it. We'll check in with Fayetteville. I'm going to go back and look at this chart. Fayetteville approach, bearing 515, Bravo Echo is 5000. That's all our information. ADSB status. Fayetteville approach, take in. Bearing 515 Bravo Echo, is 5000. Bearing 515 Bravo Echo, Fayetteville approach, Fayetteville Altimeter 3024. 3024, 5 Bravo Echo. Sir, so pressure to drop. 6 Alpha, descend to maintain 6000. Come back to this. Ooh, I got my phone tabbed in there. That's good. And databases, all your databases are current. I'm going to come back to this and take a picture of that. All right, with my phone. We'll come back to that after I turn off the recording. And then you got flight plans. My six to seventy-six seconds. In the event of a missed approach, we fly. Your active and flight plan catalog. You could store a bunch of them in there. I don't know why he's got. Why well, he got two in there? But anyways, there's our active flight plan. Nine eighty-five zero eight contact. And then checklist. So we've got a digital checklist. I can get to that checklist several ways, either from this page or just. I can get, I'll get back out of it. Go back to our main page. So this is our main map page. I'll let this go away. And then if I wanted to go into the checklist, I just hit the checklist page. And then I can hit, I'm in the emergencies. I can go back, I can get out of that and go into different groups. Emergencies, abnormal or normal procedures. We've already done all this stuff. So that we can go down here to the descent checklist. Right. And then you can just check them all. Right. So it's pretty cool. Altimeters, cow flaps. I just step through. Pretty cool feature. And then I'm just going to hit exit. And it does have an emergency tab to pull it up real quick, right? To get you into the emergency. 35.02. 35.02. So we're going to exit that, though. All right. I think that's it. You can do all kinds of different things to this PFD as far as changing what, what you want to see where, if you want a different map in the little inset. I can put actual radar in my little HSI or an X-Rad in my HSI. So, whatever your preference, whatever your fancy is, you can do it. I'm going to do a quick flight planning uh, profile, VNAV profile. I'm going to put Field elevation right there. Right. So let's put field elevation right there at the out under the altitude column. We're gonna hit zero feet and we'll say AGL. It's gonna convert it. It says do you want me to convert it to thirty two feet, which is the basically the field elevation? I'm gonna say yes, I do want that. We'll hit enter. We're gonna crank this to five hundred foot a minute. And then we'll get rid of that. And now we have a top of descent up there outside of Wilmington. So we know when we need to start down to do our 500 foot per minute. If I wanted to know how long it was before we started our descent, say someone was asking, I could hit flight plan and here's my time, 21 minutes, 34 seconds, till top of descent. So there's all kinds of cool information in this G1000 NXI. All right, well, stay tuned until we get closer. I'll start you back up. I'll get closer. All right. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. One more other quick thing about the avionics I was going to show you guys that the NXI is different than my G1000. This, this is the newer version. If I go into uh, uh, Ox pages, verify information delta. I could 
the, the radio is all turned on right here already. Two whiskey, Roger, flight right. heading, uh, three, you pick five, your channel eight, through this eight. page, but the volume is turned wide open on this in in the aux pages. But to turn the music on, it's a little bit simpler than this one. My tango turn in the G1000, you had to go to that page and you'd do the unmute, you'd do the volume here. Uh, two, two, three, two, whiskey, your so this has got a different audio miles, panel, so we'd hit the music a centurion climbing through one thousand. When he gets done talking, we'll hear and we can adjust the volume with our knob. Uh, so there's, two, two, there's, two, there's our music two, two, from the XM. Right I hit down, it again, then it's on Bluetooth music, so I could be Bluetoothing my music from my phone into the system, and then there's that volume, and then that's completely off. That's kind of a neat little feature. Once you once we figured it out, it took us a while since we were used to the regular G1000. And like I said, this is the G1000, but it's the NXI version. So it's got a few few more little features. Changed a little thing. All the pages are still the same. They're just slightly different. All right, we should be starting our descent here shortly. Three, two, whiskey, end of the right down, one for runway six, contact tower, one, one, nine, we're going to have to come down a little bit faster than 500, but a minute now he's coming up, so Any chance lower for 5 Bravo Echo? There, 5 Bravo Echo, to send and maintain 3,000. 3,000, 5 Bravo Echo. So we're going to do 700, but a minute. We're going to ease our power back, about 20 inches. And 5, 6, November, just confirm that was to send 6,000. Five six zero November to send maintain six thousand six thousand six zero November. We're gonna keep our speed up though. So if we get in front of that citation, show them how the Baron does it. Still at eight thirty nine, flight one nine or five. Just a little bit. There, five Bravo Echo, flighting one seven zero. Okay, one seven zero, five Bravo Echo. My goodness, this is like a wide, wide, wide. Base. Five six zero November expedite through eight thousand traffic at your one o'clock nine miles northeast bound Cirrus level at nine thousand. Good right through eight looking for retro. All right, since we're in that mode, I'm gonna I'm gonna activate vectors to final by hit procedure. Activate vectors to final is already highlighted. I just have to hit enter, and there you go. And now we got a nice center line. Got the airport site way out there. Out of eight thousand, looking for the traffic. There's six in November. Uh, Bruce got traffic here. One o'clock, six miles, still northeast, about nine thousand. No factor. I'll be six in November. There's five Bravo. I could send to maintain two thousand. Turn left, hitting a one five five. Okay, two thousand left to one five five. Five Bravo Echo. We get precise. That might be him. He's above me, but he's behind me, but you think he would let him go first. Unless he's already slowed down a bunch. Yep, I think he did. So I'm going to keep my speed up just to kind of be courteous. We're getting along. We're doing, truing out 204, doing 208 over the ground. He looks like it's blocked in. As well as my alternate ISO, I'd like to amend my clearance to continue from Wallow, Victor 1, CBI, and to Suffolk County, SFQ. Perform me, Victor, ready to stand by on that, clock 0553. 0553, four on me, Victor. Victor 5, Bravo left, so turn right hitting 170, Vector spacing for runway 35 arrival. Okay, 170 on the heading. Five Bravo Echo, and we do have to fill the side when it helps. Five Bravo Echo, Roger, join final on the 170 heading. Okay, we'll join final on the 170 heading. Five Bravo Echo.
Six zero November turn right heading one seven zero. One seven zero on the right turn six zero November. There five Bravo Echo clear to visual approach runway six contact tower one one nine point nine or traffic mile and a half or right base for runway three five Phenom. Okay, cleared visual six over to tower five Bravo Echo looking for the Phenom. One nine three Juliet Sierra extend up one. One nine three. One nine three Julia Sierra extending up one. Wilmington Towers, uh, Baron 515 Bravo Echo is visual 6. Baron 515 Bravo Echo, Wilmington Tower, runway 6, clear land. Traffic is a Embry Air on a 2 mile right base for runway 35. Alright, we're cleared to land, runway 6, and looking for the traffic on 35, Bravo Echo. Visit 839, traffic 5 mile final for runway 6 is a Baron. Traffic to five mile final, Baron for runway uh, six. Citation 560 November, uh, visual left base, runway 6, looking for the Baron. Citation 560 November, Wellington Tower, runway 6, clear to land, traffic to follow, 4 mile final, Baron. Roger, clear to land, runway 6, citation 60 November. Mm -hmm. Personal aircraft data information, Delta now, current on 3023. Left on Lima, then ground point nine. Left Lima, ground point nine, right through nothing. All right, everything we got to get flaps and y'all damp to go. I'm trying to keep my speed up though, because that. Well, Sarah, make left close traffic. Left close traffic. One nine three, Julia here. You down on glide path. We got about eight knots to lose. Got two knots to lose. Here we go, coming up on full flat speed. All right, speed checks. Flaps are moving. Y'all damps away before landing checks are complete. And I'm gonna start, I'll dip down below the glide path just a little bit so we can try to make a, whatever it is, I think it's alpha. Extend down one traffic to follow five mile final citation descending through two thousand. We made it. Copy that. Extending downwind for one nine three Julia Sierra. We'll keep an eye out for traffic. Mm. to Tower Arrow three three seven five zero will be ready upon reaching Juliet. Arrow three three seven five zero, Roger. One thirty six runway six at Juliet, taxi via Bravo Juliet. Runway 6, uh, Juliet, taxi via Bravo Juliet, Blue Street 5136. Ground Baron 515 Bravo Echoes off on Alpha and we're going to Modern. Baron 515 Bravo Echo, one's ground, taxi via Alpha, hold short of Charlie. Alpha, Alpha will hold short of Charlie, 5 Bravo Echo. Alright, we made it. Thanks for ri riding along. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.